Going to look at some Starfort maps real quickly just to look at the art of them, point out their Christian symbolism, point out a few ideas on why I think they were built and why they were necessary in the minds of the people who would spend so much precious effort, time to build them. That's a Christian symbol in the middle of a star fort. That's a Christian symbol. We have what I believe is symbolically Mount Maru, the center of the flat earth. So I back it out here. I hope you can visualize that that is a flat plane. And we have Mount Maru. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven levels. Glad there were seven because this is the first time I've really gone over this, you know, uh, except just to look at it the one time. My analogy does break down with the uh, only three gates. So it's not a, a perfect analogy. Something to think about, though. We got star forts coming out from uh, around the mid 1600s to the late 1800s, maybe a little bit into that. They all have the water being tuned. You'll see how they evolve. Uh, I think that was to pick up the vibrations of the water or to insulate them somehow. It's hard to tell what they were thinking about, except uh, in my opinion, with so many of these, that are blank and that are listed as plans. There were people that had a market that said, look, the end of the golden age, the end of the Christian age is coming to an end. And they started having little skirmishes and wars that weren't settled as gentlemen would settle them. Excuse me, let me get a drink here. They had companies selling these saying, you know, hey, these are our maps and we can build these for you. You've seen what we can do in Europe. And now, just like people are fleeing, they're trying to buy their panic rooms in uh, New Zealand. They did the same thing in the United States. Geneva, an educated and well-off town at the time of uh, the selling of star forts, they got themselves a big one. They felt that the danger was real. They knew it was coming. They wanted a lot of protection, a lot of vibrations. St. Elmo. They got the best they could do. This one right here, that said 1552. That surprises me. That's an early date. Fort McHenry in 1814. We have some other ones coming up that's going to show Fort McHenry in the planning stage. It hadn't been built. There hasn't, the, the town hasn't been ready. This is a plan of, uh, Pittsburgh. Here we have another one of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been to that uh, Neely Stadium. Watch a football game there with a hundred thousand other people. My ex-wife and I had only been married 
about two and a half years. Our oldest daughter, just a couple of months old, and uh, her cousin was a starting quarterback for uh, Tennessee. And uh, we didn't know we had to get a ticket. We didn't have any money then. We just got married. And uh, we had to sneak her in, and they said, hey, even babies need a ticket. And I said, okay, come on, come on, get it. I, I got to get it in my wallet, but I got to keep walking. They didn't follow me. We kept going. It was just a little short two story, but that's what I know. And if you guys have time, go look at that uh, that Eighth Street water reservoir. That is uh, that's Christian technology there too, from the Golden Age. They didn't build that when they got there. In when they claimed to have gotten there in 1870 or something like that. So here's back to Europe for a second for Concepcion, Spain. They'll take that one because they probably had to build it around something in the middle they wanted to protect. St. Elmo got a little bit more elaborate, got a little bit more money. They actually went ahead, somebody bought it, they built it. I didn't stop on that one from Pittsburgh earlier because I knew I had just the a, a single of it. And what I want to point out to all you sport fans right now is that there's the Allegheny River. There's the Mahongahela, Mahongahela. And right here on the edge of a star fort that's probably still buried, still working there, still whatever it was built for. The baseball field it used to be right on top of a star fort. Right down to the detail, 1759, in the planning stage, you need a star for it. They got it. They bought it. Here's a little explanation of your fortifications, along with us enjoying the art of the Christian Golden Age. They had it going on. I think that... Uh, here we see a little bit of uh, the evolution of a star fort because here's the uh, method of fortification according to Blondel, Mr. Vauban. This was his original one here, too much rounded corners. This was uh, Hagen that suggested this. And Mr. Woban new method includes more sharp corners, and I think that is what they ended up going with. Here's a little explanation of windage. You aim this way, the cannonball will go up, and then it, as it runs out of velocity, it will fall down and hit here. So that's the deal on that. They got it all the way down to, uh, this is a bag of earth. I love it. Love those guys. Metale or blind. These were probably extras that you could buy if you want to uh, be a part of the people that go and settle Pittsburgh and act like... Uh, William Pitt did when he showed up and said, oh, I think that this is where I'll build a fort. Who wants to help me build a star fort? He had the money, he had it paid for, and he had the people lined up ready to help him. Wish I would have got a better quality shot of that. Boy, that's a big one. What the heck? Where is this? Seville? Seville, Spain. Spain, it was a, an excellent, excellent contributor to art and just the, the glory of the Lord traditions until 
you know, they went over and just sided with Rome completely. They, they fought that all the way up until one of the last ones in World War II. Uh, you know, they, Rome stabbed us in the back in the War of 1812. Things went downhill until finally the Golden Age of Christ ended in World War I. And the powers that were victorious in World War I consolidated in World War II through Operation Paperclip when the Nazis joined force with the United States who is still a puppet of England because England let us win the Revolutionary War. Let us win the Revolutionary War. They had to have. There's no way we could have done it. Just a basic plan for a star fort. Get your star fort and get your butt out of Europe. That's what they were selling. And they did it. This, uh, this tower reminds me of something that if you have time and want to look up, there is a memorial to Commodore Perry. I've been on top of a 400 foot tower built in the 1700s, or I don't know what they claim, but it looks just like that. Yeah, they could do it because it was the golden age of Christ. It was just coming to an end. And see, that's what I mean, how in the background of some of these maps, look, you can see a representation of another pentagon there with a grid of like what would be the flat earth map with a hollowed out point. If you can see the mouse right in here where Mount Maru would be, and they just, you know, have little, you know, you can see underneath it. These sketches are not just, I mean, works of art. They knew what they were selling and they knew who they were talking to, the people that still believed. And the Pentagon, you could buy just your straight standard Pentagon star fort. Or if you can't afford the whole thing like the United States, you could just use the interior of the Pentagon star fort for sale by this guy who has a bunch of maps coming up. You know, you, you need a star fort. You need a hexagon. We'll build that for you. You need a, do you need a commune? Or do you have a bunch of friends that want to live together in the new world? We can, we can design and build that too. We offer eight different models of star fort. You can choose combinations. You can go with them. They all will maintain your basic uh, safety of the flat earth plane, protection on the outside in the middle, and we'll, you name it, we can build it. You don't know, like the vibrations of one, we'll build them with the vibrations of the other. You don't see the canals in the uh, advertised portrait, don't build them. If there's a river within 100 miles, we'll tap into it and build irrigation all the way to you. Here we go with another Mount Maru, another plane, just a plan from this guy here whose work can be seen all over the world. Just a little bit of detail to show you uh, from this guy selling uh, star forts that if we have to go down and dig, that's not a problem. We can dig down this far. We will still line up the angles. We'll get her done. If it's beach of Pichu, we'll still level the top of that mountain. Go straight up with the walls. People, if you can imagine it, we can build it. Get your scale right there. That's our full-size two-story house with an attic. That's the wall that's higher than it. Here's the wall that's higher than that. Here's your masonry work that I call when we use forensic. 
the outside tunnel that runs around all these things inside the moat. We don't know what that's for yet, but we will. Maybe somebody will leave us a clue on a map and they can point it out to me. I don't know. But you name it, we can build it. And a lot of these things went in. A lot of them were bought and a lot of them are still there. There's another explanation of your fortifications. Projected fort. Or pea patch. Cordova. They built that one. They built that one. This is the one I was hoping to run in to show you guys the attention to detail and that the red on this map is just off a little bit. They don't like it. They want it made a little bit, you know. So they already paid for this fort. And it looks like they're sending it back going, you know, hey, we had our boys tune the vibration or something. And it's not quite working out like you said. So there you go. What do you think of that? I don't believe in star forts. Oh, okay. I guess this was probably just some doodler's idle time because we all know uh, from the history they teach us, life was easy back then. Just sit around and doodle all day for a living. And it better be good doodling. Yeah. Interesting, right? Here's the plan for Pittsburgh. And when William Pitt got there, he used all his money to help the people build a fort. And they rallied together like pilgrims. Oh, my ass. Oh, my, oh, my. Yeah, they built them. They needed them, they built them. And look at the quality of that artwork. That's Palmer, Italy. They built that one. Okay. Folks, that's it. Did you learn a lot? Did you have fun? I want you guys to take it easy, study Star Forts. Go check out a new channel and look at her stuff. Keep putting out new work on the flat earth. I think we're going to do pretty good. Anyway, we didn't get to live in the golden age, but we get to see pictures of what it was like. We still get to live for the Lord and realize that now that, you know, there are demons on the earth and Satan is showing his hands, they've been unchained. We know that that lasts just a little while. It's been a little while. Let's hold out. Let's don't let them virus us again. Let's don't go for that. And, you know, the cures of the vaccine, they're one trick ponies. They're going to try another Spanish flu Zika outbreak thing. You don't get vaccinated. You've got to get on the bus, which is against their logic that vaccinations prevent it. So anyway, you've got a lot to think about. Take it easy.